Hello YouTube! I'm joined by Freaky Nasty and we're doing a co-op playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. I'm playing as a paladin and Freak is a warlock. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the content. You can always hit that notification bell to know when the next episode is released. Cookie Ninja out. Alrighty, let's get into the game. Click and launch. I said I'm clicking launch. <laughs> No skipping cutscenes on this run. Oh yeah. Delectable. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. You know, that's exactly what that little guy thinks too when he sees your eye socket. <laughs> Delectable. What a great sight. Have well, I never had anything burrow into your brain through your eye socket before? Nah, I usually avoid that. Who are you? Okay, I'm clicking Venture Forth. This is the city of Baldur's Gate. Okay. I bet you didn't know. It has been a while since I played a Baldur's Gate game. Kinky Dragon Riders are so cool. Yeah.
Bang. Dang. A lot of stuff happened. Yeah. Never, uh, planer traveled before, bro? No. So if you hover over things, it'll pop up a, um, like either a cog wheel, like this yeah. Mind Flayer pod, you can click on it, and then it'll interact. Okay. And you can hold down... Shift, and click, and I think that's how you Don't move quietly. Oh, that's this. Okay, uh, if you hold down, you can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. Okay, that's kind of nice. If you hold down the click button, if you hold down left click, okay, or, uh, no, I'm sorry, the middle wheel. If you push in the middle wheel, like uh, a mouse three button, oh, yeah. and then turn it, you can spin the camera around. And if you hold down alt, it will show you all things on your screen that you can um, mm -hmm. loot. So, like, I can loot the spine oh, player. yeah. Dead. Good. There's nothing here. Yeah, I know. It's because I looted them. It says empty. Yeah. So, this is a restoration pod. If you click it, it's a one time use thing. Okay. And then if you come over here. It's something we don't want to use now, obviously. Yeah. No. I think it's there. It might be here. Oh, yeah, it's over here. Uh, I just want to show you another mechanic of the game. Yeah. So, if there's a chest here, I'll let you loot. Okay. There's a take all button to take everything. Yep. Alright, so now, you see where I'm standing? Yeah. Down along the bottom in all of your d different options, there's one that looks like a guy jumping. Yes. And it says, it'll say Z. Z for the shortcut on it. Yeah. You can click these shortcuts and then just click where you want to go and it'll jump. Okay. This fire that I'm standing in will do damage to me over time if you stand in it. Oh. And then after a little while, it will wear off. Gotcha. So. So, and then I wanted to show you that from up here, we can jump again, and you can jump a lot farther now, but where you, wherever you want to land, it shows you what will happen to you when you get there. Oh. So this will say minus two hit points and prone. Oh, so I'm going to jump yeah. down. I didn't fall prone, so I rolled well. That's really good, but I did take some damage. So if you jump down here, you didn't take yeah. any damage. Yeah, I just so now, that. now that we're hurt, we can hit this restoration okay. thing. I feel better. Okay, you did it, you did it for both of us, okay. Yep. So, yeah, that's kind of like the basics of how the game works, but you can traverse to places that don't look like you can get to them. Like, a lot of different ways in this game. Just okay. by kind of, like, wandering around a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you can jump over hazards as well. 
Uh, are you just clicking as you go, or are you, um... Yep. I just click where I want to go, and then I move the camera around. Okay. Yeah, it seems like... So there's an onyx. Visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic oh, yeah. energy. The room slot, when you click on it, it tells you things, so you'll have your inner Visions monologue. Visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through okay, the Okay, when you click on them, it plays for me. When I click on it, does it play for you? Energy. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if it did. We have another chest over here. Ooh, money. I'll take that. Nice. All right, and then instead of jumping down, where I know I'll get hurt, I'm going to walk back around. But you might be able to jump down and not take any damage. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Because you have proficiency in athletics, and I don't. And if you click somewhere, like if you WASDA around, you can move the camera. And I think spacebar recenters to you. Oh, okay. Oh. I think. Is that right? No, it doesn't. It did not, but. Uh. It's the recenter button. Oh, you just click on your portrait on the left side. Oh. Double click on it. Yeah, just double click on it. It'll go back to you. Okay. So when you're moving around, you can WASDA like through the wall of where we're going if we already can see past the spots. So, like if it was a window, we could move past, or if we've already been there before, we can move the camera around to anywhere we've been, and then you can just click, and you'll walk all the way to that spot regardless of what's in your way. Okay. Um. I tend to like just going a little at a time. <laughs> okay. That way I'm not getting myself in trouble and like walking. Because your, your character will also just like walk past anything that's dangerous. They don't care. They'll just like walk straight through fire or right past an enemy or whatever. Okay. But this is still just all prologue, so we can kind of just click yeah. around. And again, remember to, to hold, press and hold alt when you walk in a new room so you can see stuff to. Uh, Images Blue. of goblins there. Oh. Some gold. Did you hear that? Uh, no. Just listen for a little while, you'll hear somebody start saying, help us. Huh, I don't... I am deaf. Horticulture. Does that help us, or it sounds like someone's like you know, or like kind of over here? You don't, you don't hear the "come here, help us." No. How about now? Nope. Wait, give it a second. Oh, I see. I see it. But I don't hear it. Oh, you might need to change a setting for voice. Uh, audio. I pretty much have everything except for the master volume. Um, not sure I have surround. Maybe it's because I have surround sound headsets on. Uh, oh, you. Oh, why did you click things? Uh, Go back up here. Yep. You don't, you don't want to help the thing that's saying it's trapped? No, I just accidentally clicked on it. So this thing says it's trapped. Help us. Yeah. Uh. Sure, we can help it. Hey, you started a conversation. Oh shoot. I can I can click into it. So on the left hand side, when one person starts a conversation, the other person can click in to listen. 
And then I see what you see. You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. Uh, who am I talking to? A man or brain? I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. You sound afraid. Why? So I can choose one, and it'll show you that I voted for it, I think. Okay. Um, hmm. So do you see... Yep, I did see yours. Okay. Yeah. So we can, like, think stuff through together. Yeah, yeah. But you choose whatever you want. Yeah. A newborn. Born new from this house. No creature like this. One that is more brain than person. You sound afraid. Why? Uh... <laughs> just want to destroy the brain. Dude, it's a talking brain. Yeah, that does sound kind of sus, but... The enemy! So many enemies! Huh. Mm. If I ask it, if I say, I think you're past the point of saving, tell me what to do. Obviously, I can listen to what they want me to do, and then we can uh, decide to destroy or help them, right? I believe. I, I'm telling you nothing. You, you make your decision as to what oh. you think Remove is best. Us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Hmm. So now you have skill checks. I do. So you can choose to investigate. Yeah. You can choose to just break the skull open. Or you can choose to like use dexterity and gently pull it out. So I can tell you, you're not very good at dexterity. No. So I think I can investigate to inspect. Yeah, you can do that. So this is a skill challenge. So this tells you how hard it's going to be, and what your what your bonuses oh. are down at the bottom. Wow, negative one bonus. Interesting. You may have other things later on that can increase this stuff, but like. Yeah. Add it to it. I'll at least try. Thirteen. That's a success. You notice a demon, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Uh so would you like to take the brain out of the skull? Oh, These man. are the three options of how to do so. This is my vote. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> my character doesn't like talking brains. Uh, huh. Talking brains. I don't know if my character really cares about talking brains. Unless it gives... Unless it gives us money to do so, but I don't think it has a wallet, so... Uh, uh, tough choice. Every choice you make matters at some I point know. in the game, so... Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the brain. Alright, so seven or better and you succeed. I succeed. What kind of trouble have I gone into? The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. 
Uh, I don't think I have a good deck, so I'm not gonna try. Okay. Or like, is it bad trying? Because if you try and it finds out that you tried to do it, it might not if like us anymore. Yeah. If you fail, yeah, there's consequences. Yeah. Notice how the jars behind you have floating brains in them, by the way. Yeah. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Oh, if you scroll down, there's more options, too. There's an attack oh. the brain option. Oh, I can see that one on mine. Oh. <laughs> I scaled up the size so that it would be easier to read. Oh, uh, okay. Probably a good idea. Uh... Hmm. The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Huh. It's all very creepy, but it hasn't done anything. I just don't want to make your character angry if I just start going wrong with his brain, so... You're not going to make my character angry, it's oh, fine. Okay. I'm just... I'm just saying I think that my character will be like, What the fuck is going on? Where am I? I want to get the fuck out of here. Oh, can I, can I loot this thing? No. Um... But yeah, so now you have us that you can talk to. Okay. The reaches into your mind, its thoughts rattling against yours. Something inside you squirms in recognition. Friend, we will go to the helm now. Hmm. To know you. To love you. To give you our gift. Creepy. A gift. A gift to make you as we are. Soon you will be so beautiful. So powerful. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like it. In a realm where we have fled. We have fled to a realm called Avernus. First of the Nine Hells. We are escaping a great evil. By the way, we probably don't want to be in Avernus. Avernus is hell. Oh. Okay. So maybe we do want to go to the helm. Yeah. I'm going to the helm. Okay. Uh. Which way is the Oops. helm? Well, we probably have to go back down and then go through this uh, doorway over here. Yeah. Oh, why? Oh, why did it have a cross off its? You lost your connection to it. Uh, I was listening to it, but I stopped. Oh, uh, gotcha. Making sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. Okay. Pressing tab, I'm not seeing anything. Or, um, not alt. tab, uh, alt, I'm not seeing anything. Good. Yep. Huh.
Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? Squall. You are no thrall. Flacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Hmm. Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Hmm. Interesting. We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. Oh, dope. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, Good we call. exterminate the Yetis. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Yeah, your pet may be useful. Nice. Aw, oh, look at the cute little guy. These are not our friends. Alright, so now we all rolled initiative. Up at the very top, you can see what order we all go in. Okay. So I go last. Uh, no, we're before the imps. You and me are before the imps. I mean, sorry, I'm gonna go last of before of our group, yeah. So then you can click down on your abilities down on the bottom, and then go toward a target, and it'll show you what happens. And what your odds of success are and such. Okay, so you see like Pummel Strike and yep. Lacerate. You can, also, uh, you can also move, and once you go a certain distance, it will tell you you don't have enough movement left over. Uh, it will also gray out anything you can no longer do if you don't have the action economy left. Right okay. above that bar, you see that there's a little circle, a triangle, a square, and a box. Yeah. The circle represents your action, the triangle represents your bonus action, and then the rest are like your spell slots and such. Okay. So right now I guess I'm so. controlling the female... Uh... Nope, that's me. Oh. oh, yeah, you are controlling Lizelle, correct. And you're controlling Lizelle. the little brain thing. Uh, okay. But now that I'm done with my turn, uh, I can't do anything else. I can't go anywhere. Um, but I could, like, dip my weapon, or I could shove something if I wanted to, but I don't have enough actions to actually do anything. So I'm going to end my turn. Gotcha. Okay, so... Should I attack? So there's two enemies down there, and that's our objective. I wonder if this brain would be strong enough to kill this imp. Seems you can like click on the brain, and it'll oh. take its turn instead of yours. Oh, shit. You mean up here, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, did you swing at Lizelle? No. Why did she lose health? She didn't lose health. She has 24. Oh, okay. Oh, it moved her, I see. It, moved some, it used some of her movement. That yellow bar is her movement left. So you can tell this thing to keep moving if you want. Oh, yeah, to walk back. Okay. Oh. Oh, because it couldn't. Oh, I guess it could have moved forward, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so now I can go to Time her to and. And so, like, what'll happen, like, when we get more party members, we'll chain, like, one of them to you and one of them to me, and then we'll My both be controlling be somebody in combat. Oh, cool. Uh, I think there's a ranged attack. Yep. So you can switch to it in your other hand if you have a ranged weapon equipped. Oh, yep. Yep, and then you can click the attack that you want to do and then target and shoot. Nice. 
And then there's no actually a bonus action. So anything that you can still yeah. do will be highlighted. Anything else won't be. Yeah. So I think I just have to end my turn. I don't think I can do anything else. Yeah. Uh, you have your turn still. You have to click on you. Oh, sorry. When you click end turn, it ends everybody you're controlling. Oh, gotcha. I don't have a range attack, so I'm just gonna hide behind this person. Lizzo. Lizzo. I don't think I have any sort of ranged attack, no. So you have the hide action then. You also have the dash action if you wanted to move again. Oh. Like all of these different things are things you can do. Uh, jump, dip, Inquisitor's Might, Shove, Divine Sense. Would be any use of using those right now? No. No, okay. Just letting you know, like, you have all of these different things you can do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, hide, help, uh, dash. But dash would put me at a disadvantage, right, or something? It's No, dash would just take your action. Oh, which I don't have an action, but... You I do think... have an action. You haven't done anything. Oh. You've only moved so far. Sorry. So you could move, and then you could use your action to move again, but then you wouldn't have any attacks. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll just stay here. Uh, and then end the turn, right? I don't think... Yep. Yeah, if you're actually done, you don't have anything else, you just click end turn. Okay. Now the imp. End turn? Oh, whoops. Or, wait, did you... I did click end turn, so I think each person has to click end turn, so... It just ended it for the one NPC. Okay, it did it for one. Okay. I am going to loot this body. Oh, that's a good point. I'm going to loot this body. Yeah. And then I am going to... Eldritch Blast this son bitch. Dang. You prove surprisingly adequate in battle. Thank you. Now, I think... To the hell. I think this is a good spot to end the episode.